welcome back to my channel it's your girl Yanni today we're doing a voiceover because my hubby is sleeping beside me on the other side and guess what we're doing today have you guessed yet have you guessed we are gonna do a one brand tutorial with my favorite brand of them all Colourpop so if you guys are interested in seeing what I create because I'm trying out these new color sticks then gotta grab a snack grab a bottle of water because you know we're still trying to get healthy but enjoy and keep on watching so first we're gonna go in and prep our skin I'm gonna be using the fourth ray beauty fresh AF facial mist I'm going in with two sponges it's like the detailing sponge and the blending sponge we're gonna go in with our face first I'm gonna do a reverse contour um, type of thing haven't done this in a while and I'm using the ColourPop no filter foundation stick and I believe this is in 135 neutral and then I'm using the pretty fresh concealer and this is in the color 85 N and then I'm gonna take the foundation this is the pretty fresh hydrating hyaluronic I think it is foundation I'm just dabbing that all around and I forget the color that I am here but definitely check the description box and I'll have it on the bottom and we're gonna blend 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 and I was like oh let me start blending the contour out first being that that was the first thing that I put on so you're gonna blend 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 and when you blend this out you want to blend upward you don't want to create a shadow on the bottom then I go ahead and start to take the other detailing sponge which is really really has a really pointed tip and i use that to blend out all of the concealer as you see it's really really precise and it gets in all my little crevices like in my inner corner around my nose i love this sponge then i'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit more of that foundation and just go lightly around and clean up the contour because i did take it down a little bit too far so that's what you see me doing here just kind of blending everything now we're going to set everything with our translucent powder. This is the no filter translucent powder. And I'm taking that on that precise little detailing sponge and I'm doing my under eyes. Of course, we want to set that, make sure we don't get any creases and everything looks nice and flawless. Now we're going to go ahead and take the powder puff. This one I think came with my Laura Mercier. I'm going to take like the rest of that powder. I'm just going to lightly powder all over the face. Because the foundation is a more dewier foundation, I just don't want to take the dew away. And then lightly, I'm just going to dust the rest of that powder on my T-zone and around my eyes. Because that's where I get like the most oily. And then I want to set, of course, um, in my T-zone. And just kind of pat everything away bring down my neck then I'm going to bronze up my face and I'm using just a bronzer from Colourpop and again we're just going and flicking forward and just kind of blending up we don't want to blend down because we don't want to create a round shape we want to create a more sculpted shape then I'm going to take this cute little heart blush which is super pigmented definitely need a light hand with this and go ahead and just put that on the high cheekbones I take it back into my contour so it just makes me look a little bit more sculpted and less round then I'm gonna set all that with that fresh AF facial mist I just want to melt everything in now I'm gonna play with the eyes so these are the color sticks and I created this look and I didn't like the way that these blended I didn't like the way that they just performed I wouldn't recommend that you get these I think it's better if you use it for colored like graphic liner or on your lower lashes so this is a clean face and we're gonna go in with the all forest site or excuse me at forest site palette with raw beauty Christie and color pop I'm gonna create a pretty fall eye look so I'm gonna take this little mustardy color and we're gonna create a halo eye so we're gonna take that then with a more detailed brush I'm gonna take the brown color and I'm going to take that into my crease and just kind of go around and around my eye socket. And that's what you see me doing here, just kind of placing the dark color. And then with that same brush, we're gonna blend. Blend, 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 blend. It's all about blending. Blend, blend, blend to your heart's content. You just want those colors to kind of blend together and just make sure that everything's nice and diffused. 
We're gonna go back in with that first brush with no product on it. We're just gonna blend and just make everything nice and seamless. Just blend, blend, blend. Now we're gonna take these Super Shock Shadows from that collection. Again, check the description box for the names. I'm gonna take this green, yellow, reflective one and I'm gonna put that in the center of my eye. And these are so buttery. I love their Super Shock Shadows, which they're known for. Then I'm gonna take this other lighter color and we're just gonna place that like up in the crease, like a gradient from like that gold green into that. And then we're gonna blend and blend a blend with no product, excuse me, on the brush, just kind of blend everything together. Now we're gonna go in with the brown liner from that Raw Beauty Christie collection. And we're just gonna put a brown line on the top lash. And then we're gonna use the green one for the waterline. I did extend the inner corner a little bit with the brown liner. Now I'm using the Act Natural Mascara. And I'm using these lashes, which are Minx. And they're okay, they're very natural looking. So they're like, eh. So I decided to curl them a little bit just because they were looking a little too flat so that I can kind of give a little bit more to the look. Now we're gonna take the No Filter Setting Spray and we're gonna set our face. Again, I have a very dewy foundation on so I don't wanna look like an oil slick. So that's why I'm using the mattifying spray. Now I'm gonna go in with the highlight, the Super Shock Cheek in Wisp. I'm gonna take my ColourPop um, small shader brush, I believe, and I'm just gonna place that on the high spots of my face. You know, my nose, the bridge of my nose, all that good stuff. Now with that small brush, we're gonna go ahead and take the medium brown color that we took from that palette and just run it on the lower lashes. Again, with that Act Natural um, mascara, this is in black, my favorite mascara from ColourPop, better than the BFF one, if in my opinion. Now we're gonna go in with the clear brow, brow gel. This is the Brow Boss Gel set our eyebrows and fluff up our hairs now we're gonna go in with the lipstick this is one of the lippy sticks this I think was from like their animal cheetah collection again look at the details the description box for the colors and this is the final look I don't know what was going on with my hair the curling iron just wasn't cooperating but you know it is what it is and this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one brand tutorial with ColourPop. ColourPop is my absolute favorite brand of them all. I love all their products. They're the best. I enjoy them. I'm always buying from them. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and support. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell down below so you can get notified every time I upload videos, which is three days a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, you know, the life permits. And I will see all you beauties in my next video. Bye.